Hi everyone, it's Kay. I have a photo album to share with you today. And this photo album, it has pictures containing photo booth pictures from my daughter's wedding reception. And we thought it would be a fun idea, instead of having a regular gift book for people just to sign, that they would take photos and sign a little card and we would get to put them in this book to remember all our guests by. And so I'm going to share that with you. And so to get started, the inside cover, I did modge podge this paper on. And I put this picture of the wedding cake in here. And the reason for that is this is the theme of the, the photo booth album. Uh, this is not the theme for the wedding. The theme for the wedding was more of a traditional uh, wedding. Uh, but we had this small contribution uh, that the groom picked out, the cake. And this represents their sci-fi loving geek uh, Comic-Con going personalities. So that's the reason behind the cake. We do have a Star Wars topper with Han Solo and Princess Leia. And it has their last name and the date they were married. This first layer is Star Wars. And I will, I will try to zoom in here just so you can see the cake just a little bit better. Uh, so there's R2-D2. And then you have some caution tape. The reason for that is that's supposed to represent the zombie sci-fi loving geeks that they are. Um, we couldn't get zombies on the cake. It was just a little too much out of our price range. So... That was the next best thing. And then this next layer, we have the golden snitch and the owl. And guess what? That's Harry Potter. And then, of course, on the bottom, we have our superheroes. So you have the Batman uh, sign or logo, whatever you want to call that. The blast in the sky with the light. And then the Thor's hammer, Spider-Man, Captain America's shield. So that's... That's the wedding cake, and so that kind of introduces the theme of the photo album, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So this page, this first introductory page, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, this first page, we have just some cheesy photo booth stickers that I got at one of the local craft stores, and this says the photo booth and you have a little sticker that says wedding fun say cheese um, at the reception I know we got a bit of a glare there so you probably can't see the words very well and it has lips and a mustache and a top hat you know kind of the props that you'd see at a typical photo booth and we did have those props in our photo booth uh, we didn't have all uh, sci-fi um, just because I don't know. We just didn't have it or some of, I mean, you know, Spider-Man. Are you going to wear a Spider-Man mask? I don't know. So we just didn't do that. But um, we did have some. And so I'll explain to you how the process of how I made the book or why I made the book the way I did. Uh, I chose this Simple Story Snap album because I needed the photo sleeves to protect the pictures. They were going back to back. And there's so many of them crammed in together into this album. I did not want them to get ruined or scratched, rubbing against each other. So that's the reason for the photo snap album. The decorating of the pages depended on the cards the guests signed. So I had pre-made at the wedding reception various little cards. I think they're two by three-ish. And they're different themes on the card. So the card determined how I was going to decorate the page. Now the guests would go get their props, take a picture. They'd get one picture to keep and one picture they gave back. This picture they gave back was numbered along with the card that they signed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, and that's, that's how I knew which picture went with which card. So Star Wars card, Star Wars pages. And if you're wondering where I got my Star Wars paper, it's digital. Now this particular Star Wars paper I found online 
I think there was only a couple left of whatever I found online. And um, so I used that for this inside cover, but all this paper inside the, pa the photo sleeves are digital. The stickers, I found some at the local craft stores and I found some online. So this Harry Potter paper is a paper line that came out a while ago. It's not the new one that's out by Photoplay, uh, and but it was fun. It had the four different colors with the four different houses. So uh, I think this is Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, so I found these die cuts at a craft store local to my daughter's area, and. It was just a fun, fun way to, to decorate the page. And so mostly people picked out the Star Wars cards and the Harry Potter cards design. So you're going to see most of that in the book. So I'm just going to quickly flip through. You just It's just to give you an idea of what you can do. Now this, this page uh, had some cards a few cards left over from the bridal shower and some people chose to sign on these uh, especially the people that did not want to take a picture uh, they would sign these larger cards and I thought they went well with the zombie paper and they these stickers fit nicely on here because there was no picture to take up that space um, then I added a few photo sleeves just for photos and these are the fun photos these aren't the formal photos or the cutting of the cake or anything like that these are just pictures of the guests having fun at the reception or maybe just pictures of the photo booth like you see here and so this is before anybody touched the photo booth props they're, they're laid out nice and neat and and again, I added a few, I had to add a few uh, uh, cards in here just, just for fun. Uh, this one says, that awkward moment when you realize that zombie looking for brains walked right past you. Uh-oh. Okay. So here's our Batman page. And this is, this is a free, uh, not a free, I actually paid for this digital paper. Um, but this was uh, cut out from that. This is a sticker I got at the local craft store. Um, and these are the little cards that I had made for signing up. For signing your well wishes, just your autograph. Some people did either or, some people did both. Um, and so you can see I mostly had Star Wars and... Harry Potter, I would just throw in these photos just to capture some fun moments at the wedding reception. And Spider-Man page. Now the Spider-Man paper is digital, as well as the Batman paper and the Star Wars paper. The zombie paper I found online. There was just a few left. I don't even know what paper, what line it was, or what the name of the company was. Now, this is one particular card that I got from the new Wizarding Paper by Photoplay. And it says, I'm just here for the butter beer. But I just had to include that because I thought it was fun. Because, you know, you always have those people that just sit at the table and eat. They don't dance or whatever, you know. <laughs> They're, they like eating the food. So... Uh, we had some pumpkin pie and some hot chocolate because it was a November wedding. And so we have the various toppings at the hot, cho hot chocolate bar and the little stir sticks. And it was just an all-around great time. It was a fun wedding reception. And I think everybody had fun taking pictures at the photo booth. So I'm just... You know, just quickly going through very simple scrapbooking. I didn't do anything major. I just wanted to get these cards and these pictures on here, and so I didn't do anything particularly fancy with the scrapbooking. Um, Spider Man was also digital. Uh, these are stickers that I 
I think I got at a local store that came with the Avenger pack or something. And so anyway, we're almost done, right? It's huge. It's it fits this. I mean, you can't get it any tighter than that. And on this last page, I did. This is the back inside cover. I mod podged this pocket page onto there. And the reason for that is I had some people who would not take a picture or could not take a picture and they wanted to sign a card. And so I have these little German cards that came with the zombie paper. So I just glued the signage cards on the back. So here you have a Batman and a Harry Potter. But they're all onto these. It just gives it a little cohesion instead of having trying to fit a bunch of these on one page. I, I, as you can see, I ran out of room to add any more pages. So that just that just makes it so I didn't have to have a whole bunch of pages of just just signing cards. And then we have a few pictures with no cards. You know, like the bride and the groom did not sign a guest card. <laughs> they were hosting the party. So this is a picture of the bride and the groom, and you got my youngest daughter photo bomb in the middle there. Um, and then you know just some other guests, mem members of the wedding party, uh, that that took you know they took they were in a group shot, so they took more than than one picture, and so we have the extras of those. So anyway, that's that's my idea for a photo booth photo album wedding style. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye bye.